It's an absolute pleasure to have here with us today Michael Langridge. Now, I don't know if uh, many of you were able to see his production of Tess in London, but it received absolutely rave reviews, and especially one in our journal. And he went on then to write a sequel to Tess called The Second Mrs. Clare. It comes out in December... I have the website uh, address which I can email everybody if they would like. But Michael Langridge is here himself to tell you a few words about the second Mrs. Clare. Thanks very much, Tracy, for the opportunity. Um, working on Tess was, was a wonderful experience. Um, it took just under a couple of years to adapt it for the stage because we wanted to address many of the themes that we think were important, particularly at that time, the whole Me Too idea of brutality and abuse of women. Um, uh, there's so much of, of, of that that comes out when, when you read Tess, as you all know. Um, it was an ensemble piece. We had 13 actors who played all the parts, basically, and then one actor to play Tess, one to play Alec, and one to play Angel. Uh, they didn't really get a chance during the evening to, to uh, play many other parts. Um, at the end uh, of the period, uh, as Tracy kindly said, we had terrific reviews. Um, we did have an opportunity to take it to Salisbury Playhouse, um, and uh, that was all uh, on the stocks ready, and we were also thinking of touring. And then, of course, uh, COVID came about and uh, knocked all of that opportunity on the head. Never mind. Um, having lived with the characters over that long period of time, uh, I felt quite bereft in a way that, you know, I had to say goodbye to them. And I thought about the opportunity of saying, well, look, characters live on in our heads. You know, they become real people. And so I thought, what would happen if we took a point at the end of Hardy's novel and we extended it beyond to see what happened. And so after two months of sitting down and working out how on earth I could plot such a story, I started writing it. Uh, it's taken just under three years, partly because I had some major heart surgery in between and I didn't have the opportunity to write when, when that happened. Um, I finished it um, in the summer... Um, I have a wonderful company who are publishing the book now. At the moment, we're going through the publishing drafts. Um, uh, as Tracy said, I, on our theatre company website, which is called Tight Grip Productions, and Tracy can give you the link, I put in a page about the second Mrs. Clare, which gives a little bit of information about the book, the rationale. It takes place over a period of 18 months and starts immediately... Uh, at the time that Hardy's book finishes. Um, there are some little retrospective bits in it, naturally, um, and there's a lot of new characters in it who obviously come in and affect the lives of the protagonists that we already know about. Um, so that's really all I want to say. I'm not a scheduled speaker today, so I'm not going to take up any more, more of your time. Um, but I, I do hope, if you do get the opportunity to, to read it, that you do enjoy it and approve of it. Um, but um, two, two people who have read it recently said that they thought Thomas Hardy would certainly approve of it, and they know his works very well. I hope so. Thomas? <laughs> anyway, thank you, Tracy, for the opportunity, and thank you, everyone.